All right, today we are gonna install this Rottweiler power plate air filter kit on the Norden 901. There's two screws, both sides, just a Torx. Gonna slide this back from the back right here. So you can see that front clips in. So you're gonna put that front end first. I said pull from the back and then pull out. Alright, so when you're taking the air filter out, this is gonna pop up first. So a little lock keeps it in place. Alright, so from there you can actually pull the whole filter out. Giant air filter. Alright, with an 8mm socket or a T30 Torx, you're gonna take these four bolts out on each side and you're going to remove the snorkels that are underneath. Alright, once you got the four bolts out, just lift up here. It's going to be a little difficult one handed. No? Nope, just came right up. Just got to apply some force. A little difficult one handed, but. We got it. Alright, so you want to get rid of these? Alright, when applying these studs, there is an Allen on one side only. I said a two and a half millimeter Allen you're going to use on these studs. Make sure she's snug. But don't break it off. Now we are going to install the power plates here on each side. These holes are a little bit larger. The thumb screws will install next and they'll go down and seat into those holes. Uh, looking at the thumb screw, you can actually see the recessed area. So you're going to put that down whole side. Well, that's just awesome. Be picking out a thumb screw out of this air box. Voila, I see it. Don't drop your thumb screw down into the air box. Got it. Okay, so let's line those two up, put the recess side down. Make sure these notches are aligned here. After that, we're going to be installing the self-tapping screws in these little notches. We are going to use the plastic spacer, put this plastic spacer down in the hole, and then gently tighten the self-tapping screw down into there. Uh, do not over tighten. You will strip the hole if you over tighten. It's just plastic. So, can't do this with one hand. So, let me see what I can get into and show you guys the progress. Alright, so you want to place that plastic spacer right in the notch and you're going to screw down this self tapper down into the plastic. So, the instructions say to just keep tightening until the self tapping screw is all the way in. I am going to use the spacer and the self-tapper to mark each location and then drill smaller holes. It should be a lot easier if I just hit those with a, a drill bit real quick just to open up the holes. Use that hole to make it easier for the self-tapping screw to go into. But at least with the spacer and these self-tappers we can mark all the holes. So that one's marked, that one's marked there. So all four of the holes are marked. Now I will use a smaller drill bit just to clean out the hole and then I can use the screwdriver and the self tapper. So if you're going to do it this way, you're going to need a smaller drill bit than the screw. Find something small just to, just to make the hole in the beginning. That one is a 764 over here. I'm sure you could use either the 8th, 764, 332, 564, anything just to start the hole. 
So we got one hole drilled. Using our alignment mark from the self tapper and the spacer. There's our second hole. Now I set this self tapper and the spacer back in there. Let's see how easy this is to get in. Man. It's like butter. Do not over tighten. Remember what I said earlier. We have all four self tappers in with the spacers. They're tightened, but like I said, do not over tighten them. You can definitely strip out the plastic. Once you have the four self tappers in, you want to reinstall the original air filter. Make sure you feel it click. You can see each tab is in. Alright. This Rottweiler filter kit comes with three different filters. You have your dual stage red and yellow. This is good for very dusty conditions. The red is for street. You can see right through the red. This black single stage is for off-road use. It's up to you which filter you want to install. I think we're going to go with the dust filter, this dual stage. Alright, so I got the dual stage filter in there. Red side up. All you're going to do is put these power plates, you're going to slide them into their locations right here. You don't have to, once these are tightened up, you know, snugged up onto their spacers, you don't have to tighten them anymore. You don't have to tighten these once these power plates are on here. So you definitely have to push down on the power plate and the foam to be able to get it down far enough to thread these little thumb screws onto the threads and get them into position. So once you do that, you're just going to tighten these up. Let's see there. Kind of countersunk so they go into their hole. They actually provide you with extra of these thumb screws. That's it. Now we can tighten these four bolts for the seat latch. You can actually pull these side panels off quite easily if you need room to get to those holes or if you want extra room while you're working on this. Grab down bottom here, pull straight out. Same with up here in the front corner. That's where the pins are. Once you have those two pins pulled, this just slides into place up here. And then the top, the top corner goes above the bracket. Uh, it's all finished up. That's what it'll look like. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and enjoy, guys.